Okay, so in this video, we're just going to get to the read portion of the CRUD series, okay? So it's pretty simple. We're going to set up a, an event listener. So we're going to essentially use this. We're going to use the onAppear function. And so we're going to go, I'm just going to go ahead and close down the size of that vStack, minimize that. And I'm going to use this onAppear. And so what I'm saying is onAppear, and then I'm going to initialize an instance of this Firestore. And I'm going to say, I want it to add a snapshot listener to a collection called ratings, okay? Because if you remember in the last video, we were adding to the collection called ratings. So here's where we are. We have ratings, okay? And it's gonna listen for any changes, okay? And if it does find anything, if it can't find any docu documents where it has an issue, then we have this error handling going on right here, okay? But if it is able to, then it's going to create an array of all the restaurants and array of all the ratings, okay? And then what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna create a new variable up top here, okay? I'm gonna call this one uh, state var. We'll call this uh, reviewed restaurants. restaurants, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and also create one more structure up here called restaurants, okay? Going to adhere to identifiable, which means I need to give it a variable called ID, called should here, UUID, it gets generated every time. And um, lastly, I'm going to come here and say, actually, I'm going to change what I'm doing down here in one second, but I'm going to say name var name is equal to, or oh, it's going to be a string. Okay. And var. Um, so rating will also be a string, okay? And then right here, what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna say for document in documents, okay? I'm gonna say documents for each document dot, okay? What we'll do is we'll say document, actually we'll stick with what we have, okay? So we'll say for restaurant, uh, or we'll say for each in restaurants, or even better actually, we'll say for zero dot dot restaurants dot uh, count. Okay, for I in. Say what we're gonna do is we're gonna say create a new restaurant and say we'll go say reviewed restaurants. That's gonna be an array of restaurants. Do that. I'll make it a capital R so we know that that's what that is. Okay. Dot append restaurant. name and we'll say we'll even just make the same names okay that there so I changed it here and I changed it here and we'll say names I and rating will be ratings I okay so every time it detects a change it'll go ahead and modify our list of restaurants okay so here we'll just add a string. We'll say open optional and we'll say if that doesn't work then okay and we'll say fail to get name. We'll probably have to do the same thing here. Fail to get rating. Okay. So we're just unwrapping an optional saying if, if it's unable to actually get it as a string, then just write fail to get name, okay? And so we'll just give it something right there. And we'll make it say, we'll just give it an empty array, okay? So we'll run it. Let's see what we have, ah, same principle here. Okay. Actually, we gotta actually, actually have to write we reviewed Restaurants and give it an empty array. Okay, save it and we'll run it. That should be good. And 
And so now we don't see any changes. And so that's a little confusing. But what happened? We didn't do anything with the array that we actually created. Okay. So what we need to do is I'm going to do two things. First thing is I'm going to do I'm going to print. I'm just going to print all the documents. Actually, I'm going to print names. Why not? I'm going to print ratings. Okay. That's just for myself. And then I'm going to minimize this on up here. I'm going to open up uh, what we had in here. And we're going to go to scroll view. Okay, and inside the scroll view, what we'll do, we'll say, if reviewed restaurants.count is greater than zero, then we're going to do something in a second. We'll say else return, or sorry, x else text submit a review. Okay, uh, and then in here, what we'll say is for each Okay, and then reviewed restaurants ID. So what are we using as the identifier? ID. And then we'll say rest restaurant this restaurant in. Everything there should be good so far. All right, reviewed restaurants. Okay, so what we'll do is create a text here. And that text is just going to say, let's say, uh, restaurant name. Sorry. Or say this restaurant dot name. And then put some of those guys. Let's say this restaurant dot rating. Okay. And then I just noticed one thing down here is this needs to say rating. We should be mapping out the rating. Okay. And we save that and we'll run it. Okay, let's see what we get. All right. So now, there we go. J. Alexander's five. And we can add another one. Let's say, um, let's say Texas de Brazil. Five. Add a rating. And there it is. So actually, did you notice that? Well, let's watch what happens when we add one more here, okay? Let's say Ruth's Chris, okay? Five. You'll see a pattern. We have Texas, Brazil, Ruth's Chris, and J. Alexander's again. So what we need to do is we actually need to reset it every time. So we need to say, before we get to this append, we need to have it say self.reviewed restaurants. A remove all. Okay, so we'll save that. And the last thing I want to do up here is in this for each, I just want to say dot width UI. Actually, what I'll say is for each of those, we'll just put, in, put them inside of an H stack. Okay. And I'm going to put a spacer on either side so it's centered. And then I'm just going to say dot background color dot blue. Okay, and actually, I'm going to tell you that. I'm just going to say dot frame uh, width is going to be equal to, uh, let's just say a max width. Okay, UI screen dot main dot bounds dot size dot width. Okay, so now let's take a look again. And now we can see all three of them, okay? And so I can add a new one and I can say McDonald's, okay, one. And now I get to add it in, okay? There's no rhyme or reason for the order right now, but we'll get to that later, okay? So now we have, we know how to create things, we know how to read them, and the next one we'll do updating, and then the following one we'll do deleting, okay? See you in the next one.